Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. The Adidas Numbers Up promo is live and we have a brand new Steven Bergwine objective card to grind for. And you know that's worthy of the Whopper button. Tell the crew to push the Whopper button. I'm going to go over the best way, the fastest way. I'm going to share with you a squad to dominate this challenge. But before we begin, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. So to get this Bergwine into your club, we have four separate objectives. And for anyone who doesn't know, these Adidas Numbers Up cards will upgrade two more times. The second upgrade is coming in December, at the end of December. The next upgrade, the third upgrade, comes FIFA 26, something like that. I, no, it's not that. It's April 2022. I'm a little bit upset about the timing of the third upgrade. I think that's just a little bit too long to wait for that final upgrade because we'll have so many promos between now and then. I think a lot of these cards will just not be relevant by that stage. But anyways... For Bergwine, his number up attribute should be pace. For ones who don't know, it's based on the type of boots that they wear in game. And Bergwine wears the Adidas X, which should correspond to pace. I wish it was a little more clear on the card, like pace was circled or a picture of their boots on the card. I, I don't know, something like that. The other thing that's interesting, and I would be a little bit upset if I were Adidas, but Bergwine's got front and center this big Nike kit, big Nike logo. Or as you may say it across the pond, Nike. We over here in the States, it's always Nike, but. Uh, the Nike logo on the Adidas card. So I thought that was kind of interesting. thought maybe that EA should have picked someone that doesn't have, or at least maybe upside profile or something of Bergwine where it's not so prominent with the Nike logo. But anyways, to get this done, we've got four objectives, passing prowess, assist, and five separate matches in the live foot friendly numbers up with 10 players with minimum 75 passing in your starting squad. So you need players with a minimum 75 passing. So remember that, assist in five separate matches. Score in five separate matches with 10 players with minimum 82 pace in your starting squad. So we need players with 75 passing and 82 pace. Then score in five separate matches with 10 players with minimum 80 dribbling in your starting squad. And then play five matches in the live foot friendly numbers up. So this is ultimately one of the easiest objectives we have ever had because we can have 10 players that meet all of these criteria. We can have 10 players that have 75 passing, 82 pace, and 80 dribbling. The live foot friendly that this takes place in is max chemistry, which that's the one where you can have a goalkeeper at striker, and the goalkeeper would go in there with 10 chem. Your whole team will be on 100 chem, so you don't have to worry about getting a team that's already on chem. It's max chemistry mode. So you can do this, and if people play golden goal, you could do this in like 15 minutes. You can knock this objective out super fast. And people, please play Golden Goal. I've noticed a huge decline in the number of people playing Golden Goal this year for some reason. Last year, it seemed like people were helping out more. I mean, there were certainly times when people were taking friendlies way too seriously. But this year, I've had like 1%, 10% of the people are playing Golden Goal. So people, please play Golden Goal on this. So I'm going to show you the team. We'll, I'll take a look at the foot friendly first just so you can take a look at it. But again, it's players with 75 passing 82 pace and 80 dribbling and you want those people that have that on all of uh, at all of those so look at Bergwine 75 passing he has 80 passing check 82 pace he has 92 pace check 80 dribbling he has 86 dribbling check so this Bergwine card right here would meet the criteria I'm going to share with you some players that will play well that are cheap I always try to give you players that you could go and buy off the market, sell them again pretty quickly and not lose any coins off of them. But that's just what you want to look for in your club because if you have some of the really best of the cards already, you can just go ahead and use those. But we'll take a look at the friendly real quick just so you can see what it is saying. Play online. We go over here. Problem communicating. Imagine that. EA, problem with the servers. Would have never guessed. Okay, so if we go over here, sorry, it's under numbers up. And you can see the rules, max chemistry. Lone players, max one. That's the only thing. So you can only take if you've got loan Mbappe. I should have, I'm pretty sure Mbappe passed that. We better check on Mbappe because so many people have loan Mbappe. But let me show you the team that I am recommending. We'll go down here to squad. And notice here, everybody's got those attributes. Mertens has the pace. He has, well, oh man, I've done lost what it is. Let me, I've had it written down over here. So it was 82 pace, 80 dribbling, and 75 passing. So you can see there are Mertens. And so I sorted through everyone. And, and you'll notice that this is looking kind of crazy because we, what we have, we have Renato Sanchez playing center back. 
But remember again, this is Max Chemistry. So Dries Mertens is one I'm going to recommend. He's very cheap. All of these guys are cheap. Some of them are maybe a little bit more expensive. For example, someone like Quadrado, I want to say it's four to 5,000 coins at the moment, but you could buy them and then resell them fast. Would work out really nicely. But there's just, if you want to do this all at once without having to have 10 players with the pace, 10 players with the passing, 10 players with the dribbling, do this all at once, get it done in five matches and be done with it. So there we go. We have Mertens, Correa. Correa is very cheap. Carrasco for my midfield, for my middle of the park players, the guys. Reen and Lodi, I'm going to recommend for your more defensive CDM. And then Corona is more of your box to box midfielder. Sane would be a great runner out there. He's got the great pace, good enough shooting, meets all the criteria. Quadrado and Gramado at fullbacks are going to be able to do a job for you. Ricardo Pereira and Renato Sanchez is who I'm recommending as my center backs. There are no center backs that meet the criteria for every single one. So that's why we are we are doing this. At least none that, that are cheap. I didn't check all the promos, center backs, but none of the the regular gold cheap cards for center back met that criteria to be able to to play under these criteria so a couple other cards that you could have in your team are cheap cards this kudus rule breakers card is basically discard value at the time you could buy him and play him in the midfield play him out wide you may already have him in your team if you completed Fellaini, Fellaini meets the criteria. He's got the pace, and so Fellaini would immediately become either my box-to-box -box or my two-way midfielder. So if you completed Fellaini, definitely play them over that. And also, let me say, if you've got cards in your club, for example, I completed Zaniolo recently. Zaniolo meets the criteria. Um, if you you will have some of these guys already in your team that will meet the criteria. I'm just what I always give is the cheapest guys who will play well for you. And then down here, I'm trying to give you some other ideas. Arnautovic is another one in my main team is absolutely epic. He's about seventeen thousand coins at the moment. This would be a great time for you to try him out if you haven't tried him out. He's six foot four, and I know that scares off some people, but he feels amazing on the ball. There's something about him. I've played other other six foot three, six foot two, six foot one players, and they do not feel as good as Arnautovic does for whatever reason. He just feels amazing. This right part card is another strong one that if you had him, he's also about discard value. So you can buy him for like 10,000, 11,000 coins. Then even if you quick sell them, you're only losing 500 to 1,000 coins and you've played with them and you know been able to complete the objective. So even that, there's no real downside risk to them. And if you had this card, again, he becomes your two-way midfielder. He could even be better as your CDM. So just that's another card that would be great. Another card a lot of you guys have is Fakir. That's one I regret not completing. He has been an annoyance all year. It just seems like he's amazing at finesse shots. I should have completed him. But if you have that Fakir, Road to the Knockouts, he meets the criteria. Another one that's been fun for many years in FIFA, Alex Teixeira. He's another Road to the Knockouts card that you could buy for close to discard value play with them and then sell them again or discard them and be done with them. But these are just some of the ideas. Let's take a look at Mbappe real quick. I'm pretty sure Mbappe qualifies, but I know so many of you guys like to play with Lone Mbappe. I believe I actually have Lone Mbappe myself. Let's see if he comes out. Yeah, so there's Lone Mbappe. So the pace definitely has the pace. Dribbling, it would definitely have to dribbling. Pass. So yeah, so Lone Mbappe meets the criteria. If you've got Lone Mbappe, just pop him up here. You can play with him if you want to. I'm always anti-Lone player, so that's just, I, I don't like to use Lone player. So, But if you have Lone Mbappe or you have regular Mbappe, feel free. Go ahead and play with Mbappe on this team as well. Now, this is the prize we are working towards. This is the numbers up Bergwine. And you can see there his pace is 94 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. Since his pace is a numbers up attribute, at the end of December, he should be getting a plus five boost to pace, which should take him 99 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. Everything else will get a plus one attribute. And I don't know if it's going to be like sometimes, you know, they do. I don't know if it'll be plus one across the board or if it's going to be sometimes EA will kind of tinker with different stats, like make them plus two and or if it'll be all plus one. But this is a very solid card. The downside to this card is he has two star weak foot. So you probably don't want him to be as a striker. And I think that would be fine because his best position would be as a winger. He does have outside foot shot trait, which can help you out with some of the bad qualities of a lesser weak foot. So I think you could still get by with him. And when they're dribbling up and down the wing, what you need is someone to 
unlock space, someone to be aggressive, someone to take on defenders. You don't necessarily need someone banging in hat tricks every game at, at, when they're playing on the wing or playing out wide. You want your strikers in the middle to be the ones that can bang in all the goals and when they get it into any difficult position. And these guys to occasionally score, but mainly to unlock space, unlock the defense, set up some stuff, make some good passes, and he's got solid passing, great dribbling, Good enough shooting, and you just have to keep it in the back of your mind. Okay, Bergwijn does have the two-star weak foot. I'd better not try to blast in stuff with his left foot. So just kind of keep that in mind. So I think it's a really nice card. Definitely worth grinding for because you could get this done in 15 minutes if people will just play golden goal. You could just play five golden goal matches, score, be done with it, and you'll have that numbers up Bergwijn into your squad. But if you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below. But I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.